Hi, this is Mike Lopez and in this video we're going to be looking at arithmetic and geometric series. Okay, let's make a start first of all with arithmetic series. Okay, let's change colour. Let's go for a starting number has about two. And what we need to do on an arithmetic series is to keep adding consistently another number or possibly even that same number. But think of any number and continue to add that number um, to find a new number. So in this case, we start with two. Why don't we add three to that? We get five, add three again, we get eight. Add 3 again, we get 11. 3 again, we get 14. 3 again, we get 17. So, yeah, you get the idea. So, you keep on adding 3 all the time. So, you'd expect 20 to be after the 17. Okay, so <clears throat> let's start at 2. That's what this arithmetic series says. It's going to start at 2. Therefore, we can say A is 2. So A is our starting number, if you like, which is quite standard. Um, what is the common difference? What's this common difference that we're adding to one value to get the next value? Well, in this particular case, we chose the common difference. And we'll underline the D for difference there. So ID is chosen. Um, we obviously realized that D was 3. Okay. And yeah, we just add in here. Um, it's added to the previous entry to get the next entry, of course. Okay, let's have a look at some formulae involved in arithmetic series. And the first one I'd like to look at is a formula to find the nth term. Okay, so if you're thinking of the third term, n would be 3. If you're thinking of the sixth term, n would be 6. Get the idea? So in general, it's the nth term. <clears throat> right, so how do we go about finding this? Well, the nth term is a plus n minus 1 lots of d. That's the formula you use, and you just plug in your values um, with any given arithmetic series. So let's have a look at an example. Um, a seventh term. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. You've got six given. The seventh term, we just use that formula. A, we know, is two. Uh, we put the minus one in the brackets there. We know that n is seven. So seven minus one goes there. That whole bracketed term multiplies d. And of course, we know that d is three. Okay, and so we're going to simplify that lot out. 7 minus 1 gives you 6. 6 times 3 gives you 18. 2 plus 18 gives you 20. Okay, so the 20 is the 7th term. So it comes after the 17. So indeed it will go in there. And yeah, looks right. So, we're quite happy with that. <clears throat> what about uh, sum of so many terms? Okay, so the sum of n terms. And we can write that as Sn, or S subscript little n, and the formula is 
n over 2 lot of all this lot 2a plus n minus 1 lots of d okay here's a closing bracket there okay let's have a look at an example use for that one um, how about the sum of the first four terms s of four okay so we're going to write s subscript four is equal to and we just use the formula okay so we get n over two n here is four four over two lots of two lots of a well in this case we know that a is two plus n minus one four minus one lots of d and d has a value of yep three so you put a three in there and close that bracket so that bracket there matches that opening bracket there okay and then we're looking to simplify that lot out so therefore the sum of the first four terms is going to be 4 over 2 gives you the 2 2 2 is 4 so 2 lots of 4 plus 4 minus 1 gives you 3 3 3 is a 9 okay so that's 2 lots of 13 um, which of course is 26 okay so what we're saying is the sum of the first four terms in this arithmetic series is 26 so there's those four terms add them up 2 and 5 7 7 and 8 is 15 15 and 11 26 good so we have that one right excellent now let's see if we can move on and consider some geometric series geometric series okay why don't we start by writing down a typical geometric series how about this one two and what I now need to do is to think well what is a geometric series well as it says in your workbook you have to multiply by a particular term consistently so you're going to multiply everything by three so two by three gives the six six by three gives 18 by three gives 54 by three gives 162 etc 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 you could carry on after 162 and of course you would get you guessed right 486 okay so let's have a look and notice some things about this particular geometric series it started to therefore we can say a equals 2 nice and easy Another thing we can notice is that there is a common ratio. Okay, so there's no difference here. The difference belongs to the arithmetic series. So there's a common ratio and it's three because that was the number we were multiplying by each time to get the next term. So R equals three. So let's just emphasize here. New term is three times previous term okay let's see if we can look at some formulae then for geometric series and the first one 
we look at predictively is what is the nth term. Okay, so we need a formula for the nth term. And again, it's given in your workbook. Uh, we'll reproduce it here. A r to the n minus 1. Okay, let's do an example use of that. Um, that's the series we're interested in. Let's concentrate on possibly finding the fourth term. Find the fourth term. Okay, and we know, of course, that it is sitting there, it's 54. But we could be asked to find the 97th term or the 1,356,000th term. And then you wouldn't sit there and keep on multiplying by three each time. You'd be there forever. So that's why you need a formula to help you to ascertain all of these values. Okay, so the objective here then is to find that fourth term. So we can start writing then the fourth term equals, and we're just using the formula, a r to the n minus 1. a is the first term, which we know is 2. r is our common ratio, which we know to be, yep, 3. And we can find out what the common ratio is. If you're just giving, given the series like this, then you work out the common ratio by get one term divided by the previous term. Um, so we could pick 18 and divide it by the previous term, which is 6, and you end up with r equals 3. And you could do the same with 162 over 54. So we're going to put 3 in there, and that is raised, as it says in red there above, to the power n minus 1, which is 4 minus 1. So 2 lots of 3 to the 3, yep, which is... Two lots of twenty-seven. Yeah, three by three by three is twenty-seven, and two twenty-sevens is of course fifty-four. So what we're saying is our formula is correct because the formula says the fourth term should be fifty-four, and indeed we see that is. So we're very happy with that. Excellent. Okay. Now, the last thing I'd like to do is to find the sum of n terms. Okay, so we can write that as s as n, um, as we did previously. And the formula, as you see in your workbook, is a lots of 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. Okay. I'll scroll down a bit and now we're looking possibly let's do an example we can see this more clearly uh, let's see if we can find the sum of the first four terms okay written like this um, s4 equals, again there's the formula there in red, and uh, we just plug in our values, so we know the value of a, okay, so we're going to put that value in, a was the starting value, which was 2, lots of 1 minus r to the n, well you know what r is here, in this example you've chosen r to be 4, uh, sorry, you've chosen um, n to be 4, so 1 minus 3 to the 4, okay, over 1 minus r, so 1 minus 3, okay, and this thing simplifies to 2 lots of 1 minus 3 to the 4, so 3 by 3 by 3 by 3, which sounds a bit like 81, okay, that's good, and that all sits over 1 minus 3, of course, is minus 2. 
Okay, so we're almost there on this. So what we can say is S4, or the sum of the first four terms, is two lots of, well, one minus 81, sounds like minus 80, and that will sit over minus two. Okay, um, some cancellations, the minuses cancel, the twos cancel, and we're proposing the sum of the first four terms is 80. So let's go back and have a look upstairs. The sum of the first four terms, so this lot here, so you're going to add them up. That's 2 plus 6 gives us 8. 8 onto 18 gives you 26. 26 at 54 does indeed give you 80. So we're happy with that. Okay, see you in the next video.